What's going on YouTube? This is uh, going to be my review of the UTG MK96 Shadow Ops Sniper Rifle. Um, I just posted up a video of my loadout number one, so go check that out. Uh, I did it today, so you probably should check that out. Um, I got this maybe a month ago off Craigslist.com. Uh, that's a pretty good place to go. Uh, so yeah, look at uh, it's not .com, it's .org, nonprofit I think. Yeah. Um, so you go to the person's house and pick it up, which I think is really cool. So you can um, see the gun before you buy it. Um, then go go check out. You could you could use uh, it's. UKAU Airsoft Field. Go check their uh, uh, what's uh, page out. Yeah, go check their page out. It's uh, it's pretty cool. They he's just starting out. I think a few months ago. So not that many videos. It's like seven, but they're they're really good. Um, so yeah, in the night game one, you'll see me a few times. If you saw my uh loadout video in I'll be posting one up in me and my ACUs uh, so yeah so that's what I'd look like I'm in ACU and tan but go check that out um and uh, so if you're thinking about buying this gun just just start off be really careful about one thing and if you want to go into more depth about it, go to Airsoft GI, go to their channel, and type in Type 96, and th he'll explain it really well. And so when you pull the bolt back, I had a problem with this the other day. If you pull the bolt down, which I don't know why you'd want to, but if you accidentally did, a little tiny pin or ball bearing will fall out of the slot on the bottom. And then when you push the bolt in, it will not let you pull the bolt down. But I fixed it, and it, later I'll post up a video on how to take this apart, put it back together, how it'll come in the box, uh, how to clean it, and um, how to fix that. But I won't go into that right now. Um, starting at the back. It has three adjustable butt plates. Uh, take the large Allen key, which you use to put the body pins in, and undo it, undo it. Uh, I keep them all on. It's got sling mounts on both sides. It does come with this sling. It's pretty good. I mean, it's the one that comes with the gun, so it'll probably break on you. So be careful about that. If you don't wear a full mask, then... These are really nice. Uh, so adjustable cheek pad. I wouldn't take it off because it's really awkward. Uh, then moving up, it has a thumb hole. Um, so yeah, and it's and if it's rough because that's where the seam is. If it's rough, then just file it down. But mine, mine's really nice. Um, has three safeties on the gun. Mechanical safety. Red. You can fire. Nothing. You can't. That is a safety. Can't shoot. Can't shoot. And it does have a double trigger, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but pull it in and then out. It's not very loud. It sounds really loud without me shooting anything, but it's not very loud. It'll come... It should be between... Hundred and twenty dollars to one hundred and sixty-five. It'll it should come with two magazines and a bipod. It will not come with the scope. I would definitely get a scope. Uh, this is the UTG or Leapers uh, three to nine by forty scope. It's really good for longer range shots. Um, you need to dial it in. Make sure you dial it in at about two hundred feet. Um, use 0.28s and up, 
point twos, you could probably hit someone within 50 feet. Or well, you definitely could, but get uh, heavier BBs because at 200 feet, or well, at 150 feet, point two uh, fives just fly like crazy. Um, so yeah, it does not have a functioning. Bolt. Well, it does have a functioning bolt, but um, it does not have an opening. Yeah, an opening ejector port, but the bolt does move. Make sure you keep it lubed. Uh, yeah. So then, moving up, the magazine well is not right here. It's all the way up here. It, um, it's just like a normal magazine, but with that springy thing, so it kind of falls out. You need to use a speed loader with this, and you have to if you use a speed loader you can do two things you can put your fingers like that and pump them in or you can use the little tool that comes with them I'd suggest using the tool it's a lot easier they're like 27 rounds each and I saw this guy on YouTube oh and they're full metal uh, but I saw this guy on YouTube who like taped them together like that I mean glued them together on the bottoms so that when he ran out, all he had to do was turn it over and put it back in. It's pretty weird, but whatever. Uh, it has a tri-rail on the front and the bipod. It does extend. You just unscrew that and it'll fling out. They both are. Don't keep them when you're not using it, don't keep them together because the spring will get jacked up. Uh, it does have a, a wobbly uh, bipod. You can tighten it up though. I'm too lazy to do it. Um, but make sure you tighten the screw in pretty good because it will come undone and fall off during the game. As a tri-rail, you can put a flashlight or laser, but since the engagement distance is normally over 100 feet, mine is at Yuka's field. Um, yeah, so that, that, uh, so it doesn't make much sense to put anything on them, but you just, to take that off, which I think is pretty cool, you just push that button in right here, and then it'll come off. So, that has been my, uh, review of the UTG MK96 bolt action spring sniper rifle I'm out